your son's story. You should know my daughters. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you. Why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. You hear that? Noken! Yes. And so close to the village! Their soul makes their allies invulnerable! They will not let you pass unless you destroy them all! to play hide and seek with Freya with crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey from the grand hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this. The grand hall. It's in ruin. I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the home. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, before we food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago.
These plants behave similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Huh. Well done, bro. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. We never know when someone's going to be Torch to the other side and burn the bramble blocking your path. <laughs> Alive, be squeamish about war. After all the gods you killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't. After the price I paid to end war. Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when we don't fight a true evil. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. <laughs> Uh, 
my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? Well, that did it. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. <sighs> Hold on. Something's not right. Opin Bera. <sighs> World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on!
done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I can do either. There's still a part of me that is so angry. And it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. Not for that. I do not regret saving your life. And never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. That I am myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now I fed your blades. Fast learner. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership. No!
behind you, Kratos! Send Odin my regards. You use your anger effectively. Well, you learn to use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freya. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Well done. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. They're impervious to physical attacks. My arrows can disrupt their Could I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened. <laughs> Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freya, too. Damage it without destroying the mine. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. Go! 
so much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Demos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. So what's next for you? if not preparing for war. I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. Turn to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... 
not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me. Freya, please. I... I thought you were dead. Yeah. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have you any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I missed you so much. And I you. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare head. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here. Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right, then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, Brock. You have to meet our new allies. Or shall we depart? You suppose that big fella we're traveling with might want to help me with a thing? Mayhaps. Now and again, he's in the mood to make some.
gave me a family, a purpose. Freya, shall we go? I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Runa. Go ahead, carve the letter. Sula. It's an incantation. Su na. The elves in Freyr's camp mentioned a gate like this in our fight. Get on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barons. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vibes. Remember what to do? <laughs> There's a fallen log in the river. We're clear. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully right some old wrongs. Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to- Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Tell that one! 
that nut sucker. He owes me one. Fight me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. But then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm. That's right. Well, come on, then. Hey, Tyr! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You're sure he won't mind? Mind? He'll be You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life. You are my son. Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole. Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if mom did. That is not fine. Her secrets are to be stuck with this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin, but I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's well, got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me. Listen. Said, let go. What the fuck? I can't. It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. Some shelter. Something out here doesn't want to kill me. Just need someplace warm. Then I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. The Alpha! What is this thing? Some kind of white? 